Hello, my name is Christian Walter from TradeVola and like every week now we want to present you some interesting stocks from the last days, uh, what we find out with our screening tools. Um, now as the new earnings season um, started, there are a few earnings trades as well or earnings um, stocks which are um, already moved in our direction or might move uh, in the next days because um, earnings date or the earning date is uh, very close. But I would like to start yeah, with the um, first symbol, Intel, with the yeah, um, symbol INTC. We can see here, I hope you can, the gap from the um, earnings which already um, been two days ago. And you see Intel now, the last um, two earnings, uh, quite easy to um, recognize them here. They're always. Um, um, big gaps in the last two uh, down gaps. Now we have this up gap, and uh, especially for options, you can also see um, always before the earnings are announced, we have a increasement of the implied volatility, what you can also use for uh, special option um, trades. And here we had a few, quite a few um, high call options before the earnings were announced, and. Um, of course, if you want to um, place an order for um, yeah, uh, earnings, then you always, depending on how good these um, the last earnings from the numbers are, but um, yeah, in this case we made like 100% trade from um, just one day, because in the, um, before the earnings we bought a call option and sold these um, after um, the earnings were announced. But another symbol, what is quite similar to what we saw here with Intel, but we are here right before the earnings day, um, is Wells Fargo with WFC as a symbol. Today, we had the last trading day before the earnings were announced, so on a Friday morning we will see the earnings and the results. But here the idea, we can also see here the option, what is... Um, What is in profit today? Around 100%. We didn't make exactly 100%, but as we uh, placed an order two days ago, um, with the idea that till the earnings were announced, the uh, stock will still go a little bit up. And this is exactly what we see here. Now it's at a $35 price. This was the price. Um, what we choose as a strike price and it's quite interesting because especially for earnings it's um, necessary to um, know that um, yeah these prices what you pay here this is normally the price what um, is include or including um, the movement for tomorrow so I think what we can exactly see that uh, there's um, not more than a 90 cents move um, expected so a one dollar move for Wells Fargo, as we can also see here in the chart, is um, yeah, I would say average or normal. Um, if it's um, going up more than this, let's say tomorrow we will be at 37, then of course you will have a great pro profit even if you leave this uh, position open. Um, but like I said, for earning trades, I would recommend um, to choose option strategies for stocks, for long-term investment, of course, um, it doesn't matter if there's a big or um, a small gap but normally for short-term positions, um, for, yeah, especially for earnings trades, a direct investment in a stock um, for me is um, a little bit too risky, especially if we have uh, movements like what we saw with Intel in an option trade. Um, yeah, you always um, consider a maximum loss um, for an option trade. Um, that's why you can't or you don't have set such a high risk like in a, in a stock itself. So Intel was the second, um, uh, or no, sorry, sorry, Wells Fargo was the second um, stock for earnings um, this week, and um, with both we made quite a good profit. Now we want to see also some symbols what are not influenced by earnings, not yet, because um, as you might all know, earnings um, they are coming or we are like on the beginning of the new earnings season and end of January, beginning of February. These are where all the big companies, it is Facebook, Apple, um, reporting their earnings. So um, in the next few weeks, we might also present one of these um, videos only for some interesting earnings, uh, or for some interesting movements here. 
Um, but the next symbol what I want to present you here is um, um, a stock from the broadcasting network. It's uh, FUVO. And as you can see in the middle of December, there was an amazing move um, where the value almost doubled in uh, five days. And the next seven days, it um, went exactly back the same um, um, up movement um, so that they are on the same price level like before. But now there was some news um, about some um, acquisition or like something, some other company what um, they want to buy here and especially the, the betting um, industry, what uh, might be available or what might be um, confirmed for the state in Texas. Um, made exactly the move what we saw two days ago, um, combined with the high call options uh, what we had, and um, yeah, this um, stock is made for option trading because it's a really um, high implied volatility. So you can uh, here earn some good revenues uh, with some credit spreads or even a short put. I can show you also here, for example, one of these. Um, symbols what we selected yeah you can see we sold this put option um, on a 26 dollar strike price for 80 cents and now the rest is only 23 cents so we can um, yeah almost um, closes with 70% of a profit, but there are also much uh, more interesting option trades for this symbol FUVO. And the last stock for the day um, was one from the previous um, videos here, from the previous um, trades. It was the energy ETF on the S&P 500 with the symbol XLE. And um, if I make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, you can see it also in the last videos. Here, this was our signal. We had a quite high call volume here with some bets in the short term um, for a few days that the energy sector will break out. And that's exactly what we see here in the last days. Of course, it's always important that the whole, um, the whole industry, the whole market uh, is um, in a positive um, up movement. And here we had a perfect signal even today. Um, there's a lot of more call volume um, coming. So I think um, the stock might also move in the next day or this ETF and special will still continue with the trend of what we see. And if we go a little bit back, the next um, interesting um, price is here, the last or the 52 um, week high from the middle of June. Um, still a little bit, um, I think two, three dollars to reach this. Um, but at the moment with all the background, um, what we have from the S&P in total, um, this can also cause um, a great movement for the, for the next few weeks. So um, like with this symbol, we will also update you what will happen with the um, other symbols, what we present here, also depending on our expiration dates, some stocks or some um, trades there only for a few um, days, others they are like, um, um, others we are invested like a little bit longer, like you see Wells Fargo Intel um, special earning trades, this is normally only a few days um, until we close the position again, but other credit spreads they normally have a minimum um, um, investment time of um, two, three weeks. And um, as I said, there are many symbols, they are also good investments uh, for normal stock portfolio. So if you don't want to miss any of these uh, next videos, please subscribe here to our channel and I would love to welcome you here for the next videos. Thank you very much.